If you've ever been dumped, then you know how crushing it can be. But there is, of course, a difference between being dumped and being ghosted, even if it ultimately has the same outcome. Now, in some cases, being ghosted means that you've lost your chance with your ex for good. But in other cases, it actually means that you'll have a better chance of getting them back than you would if you were dumped in a more traditional way. So in this video, I'll cover a few different ghosting scenarios, and I'll give you the path forward for each one if you want your ex back. I, of course, am Brad Browning, author of The X Factor Guide and breakup coach here on YouTube for over a decade now. Now, I'm something of an expert when it comes to getting your ex back, and I've made it my mission to help people like you get a second chance with their ex. So while you're watching, please subscribe to my channel and like this video so that I know you're out there. All right, let's dive into the topic of this video, ghosting. So first off, what is ghosting exactly? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to define it as the following. It's the practice of ending a personal relationship with somebody by suddenly and without explanation withdrawing from all communication. So, you know, ghosting can happen on dating apps, after a few dates, or even in a more serious relationship. And it starts to get, of course, more complicated if you live together, if you have kids together, or even if you're married. So, for the purposes of this video, we're talking about ghosting that happens after you've entered into an official, exclusive relationship, but before marriage. If you weren't exclusive, then, to be honest, chances are you have very little hope of winning them back. On the other hand, if you two were married and they ghosted you, then chances are there was something more significant going on than I can, I can handle in this short video. If you're still looking hope for help with, with either of these situations that I won't be covering in this video, I can offer you personalized advice over at breakupbrad.com slash coaching. Another scenario I, I won't be covering here is when your ex broke up with you, or otherwise indicated that they don't want to continue this relationship, and then proceeded to stop answering your messages and phone calls. And the same goes for if you cheated on them or you had a big blowout fight right before you stopped talking, before they stopped talking to you. Now these are difficult scenarios, but they're a bit different than ghosting. Now luckily I've covered them already, so check the description for, uh, below for links to those videos that'll cover those specific scenarios. Now, if we're going to determine if you can still get your ex back after ghosting, um, the number one question is pretty obvious. Why did they choose to ghost you rather than having the courtesy to actually break up with you? Well, in my experience working with tens of thousands of people who've been through breakups, there are really two different categories here. Your ex either ghosted you because of their own fear of confrontation, got the better of them, and they decided that it's going to be you know, less painful for them to just disappear completely than to have this kind of conversation, or they worry that you would not respond well to a conversation like that, and they're afraid of how you might react. It's also very likely that they've tried to have this conversation with you in the past, and you've either brushed aside their concerns or convinced them to stay without really addressing the issues in the relationship. In all of these situations, there's one common thread, communication breakdown. Now this is why they've decided to cut the cord rather than trying to have a conversation. So think back to arguments and conversations you had while you were together, especially towards the end of the relationship. You know, could they have been trying to end your relationship or bring up issues back then? Now, understanding these issues is going to be key to creating a better relationship for, with them once you do get back together. Now, let's talk about how you responded to being ghosted by your girlfriend or boyfriend. Now, a pretty normal response would be to try to message them and call them several times. You know, if you were worried about their safety, it's going to be pretty understandable if you reached out to mutual friends or even tried to physically find them. Now, if you went this route only to realize that you've been ghosted, it can be pretty embarrassing. You know, you might feel like you came across as desperate or crazy when you continue to reach out to them like this, but I do need you to know that you're not in the wrong here. Being ghosted is pretty scary and traumatic, and it can make you do some crazy things. And this is especially true if you were worried about your partner's safety because they gave you no indication that anything was wrong. Now, it would also be understandable if you were angry and lashed out at your ex for treating you this way. You know, maybe you said some unkind things, maybe you yelled at them and called them names, Again, this is not to say that these things weren't warranted. You know, they did a bad thing, obviously. But the more extreme you were in those moments, the more difficulty you're probably going to have when it comes to getting them back. Think of it this way. You know, they were already avoiding you out of fear of your reaction to the breakup. And now they've had those fears confirmed. You know, they know that you're upset and that you're disappointed in, in them for ending things. So now, anytime you reach out to them, they're going to be even less likely to respond. It's obviously a difficult situation, but there definitely are ways around it. Now, if you are having a difficult time reaching your ex, you should consider getting some extra help. Whatever your scenario, I can say with certainty that I've seen worse. I've helped those people get a second chance with, the, chance with their exes, and I can definitely help you too. Just head over to breakupbrad.com coaching right now or after this video to find out more about how my coaching works and see my current availability. Again, that's breakupbrad.com coaching. Now, let's talk about the two scenarios that I mentioned earlier. 
Either your relationship seemed perfect and your ex decided to dump you for no reason, or more likely, your relationship had some serious issues that you were ignoring or sweeping under the rug, and those are probably why your ex decided to ghost you. Now, one of those situations is much more salvageable than the other. Surprisingly, if you had clear issues, then you'll be much more likely to get a second chance with your ex than if you didn't. The reason for this is simple. If everything seemed perfect and your ex decided to end things, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to find out what went wrong or how to fix it. And in this scenario, there, there, there is a good chance that your ex has some personal issues or problems that they're not willing to share with you, they stopped loving you, or the problems that you have are, are just too significant to be addressed. You see, when there's an obvious solution, your ex is gonna be a lot more likely to bring it to your attention. It's when things seem hopeless that they'll ghost you without ever giving an indication that there actually was a problem at all because they know that there's no way of fixing whatever is wrong. So if you know your relationship had serious issues, don't despair. If you know what these issues are, then of course you can solve them. Now this unfortunately means that if you had the, the quote unquote perfect relationship, then I would suggest you seriously consider just moving on. It's gonna be difficult to make them speak to you again. And even if you do reconnect, you'll always wonder what happened and you're gonna have difficulty trusting them. In either case, your next move is gonna be the same. You need to enter into a period of no contact with your ex. Now, I'm sure you're probably thinking that this is unnecessary since they're already not talking to you. Well, it can actually be more difficult than you think after being ghosted because you'll be more likely to wanna to reach out to them, find them and figure out what went wrong than you would in a, in a traditional breakup. So this is why you really need to commit to 30 days of no contact following your ghosting where you don't reach out to your ex at all. No calls, no texts, no watching their social media or asking about them for mutual friends, just radio silence. Of course, as you already know, this is called the no contact method and it works because it gives your ex a taste of their own medicine following the breakup. It allows you to get back some of the power uh, and it gives you time to work on yourself. So spend the 30 days of no contact setting goals and achieving them so that you can rebuild your self-confidence. Believe it or not, this is vital if you want a second chance with your ex. Now, I won't lie to you, you know, if you were ghosted, then your chances aren't as good as they would be if you were just dumped. This is because it's gonna be more difficult to reconnect with them after no contact. You know, they might have blocked your number, or they may even have found somebody new behind your back. But there are definitely situations where ghosting the ghoster will have them running back to you after those 30 days are up. So stay confident, stick to the plan, and keep your head up. Remember, nobody deserves to be ghosted, so whatever went wrong in the relationship, you can't be the only one at fault here. They made a huge mistake, and they're gonna regret it for a long time, I'll promise you that. And that just about does it for this video. Uh, maybe if you've been ghosted, you wanna share your story in the comments below. I'd love to hear you know, how it went, and maybe you can help somebody else in the process. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.